for us to show a tangent line at several points on each surface to illustrate the meaning of the partial of f with respect to x and the partial of f with respect to y. For a quick review, the partial of f with respect to x represents the rate of change of f of x comma y with respect to x while y remains constant this is also the slope of the tangent line in the x direction. And the partial of f with respect to y represents the rate of change of the function with respect to y while x remains constant. And this is the slope of the tangent line in the y direction. To show the tangent lines, we will use the 3D Calc Plotter JavaScript app from the Exploring Multivariable Calculus site. Let's open up the app. Once the app is loaded, this is always the surface that is shown. It's given by the equation here on the left, which is the first function we want to graph. But to emphasize that 7xy is in the numerator, let's put 7xy in parentheses. If we press graph, notice how the surface does not change. Next, let's make the surface transparent by clicking the magnifying glass at the top. Now we click the show hide 2D trace plane, which is this button here then the arrow to the right, and let's first show the tangent lines in the x direction, which would be the values of the partial of f with respect to x. To do this, we select show fx trace slash tangent line. And now we click on a point on the surface. Let's click on the point one comma one. When we do this, the blue point shows on the surface, and this black line is a tangent line in the x direction, which means the slope of the black tangent line is equal to the value of the partial of f with respect to x at this point. And this red curve is where a plane parallel to the x-axis would cut the surface. Before we animate this blue point though, let's orient the xy plane of the surface in the same way the trace plane is oriented. Let's have the positive x-axis point to the right and the positive y-axis point up. So now we have the positive x-axis moving to the right and the positive y-axis moving upward and now to animate the point of tangency. Again, all these tangent lines have slopes that represent values of the partial of f with respect to x. Notice at this point here, if we move in the positive x direction, the line is moving downward, which means the partial of f with respect to x is negative, and therefore the function is decreasing with respect to x at this point. Notice at this point, if we were to move in the positive x direction, the slope of the black tangent line is now positive, which means the partial of f with respect to x is positive at this point, and therefore the function is increasing with respect to x, again at this point. So we can see all of the tangent lines in the x direction as we animate the point across the surface. And now it show the tangent lines in the y direction. To do this, we click on the arrow on the top right, and now we select show fy trace slash tangent line. And now the tangent lines are pointing in the y direction. And the red curve is where a plane parallel to the y-axis would cut the surface. Let's rotate this a little bit to the side, maybe here, and now let's animate the blue point. If we stop here for a moment, notice how if we were to move in the positive y direction, the slope of the tangent line is negative, which means the function values are decreasing with respect to y at this blue point. If we stop here, if we move in the positive y direction, the slope of the black tangent line is positive, which means at this point, the function values are increasing with respect to y again at this point. So the slopes of the black tangent line represent values of the partial of f with respect to y. Let's look at our second surface, which is given by f of x comma y equals x squared minus y squared. So we'll clear this equation and enter x to the second minus y to the second and click graph. This is a pretty nice graph of the surface. But let's try zooming in once by clicking the plus at the top of the screen. Let's go ahead and use this graph of the surface and show the tangent lines in the x direction and the y direction. Let's first show the tangent lines in the x direction. So let's go back up to the arrow and click show fx trace. 
and now we'll animate this blue point to show the tangent lines in the x direction. So let's click on the point 0.5 comma 0.5 to begin. If we were to move in the positive x direction or to the right, notice how the line is slanted upward, which means the partial of f with respect to x is positive at this point, and therefore the function is increasing with respect to x at this point. If we move over here though, notice how the tangent line has a negative slope, which means the partial of f with respect to x is negative, and therefore the function is decreasing with respect to x at this point. And now I'll show the tangent lines in the y direction. Click the arrow and select show fy trace. And now we can see the tangent lines in the y direction. Remember the positive y direction is in this direction here. So let's say at this point here we can see in the positive y direction the slope is positive and therefore the function is increasing with respect to y at this point. But over here the slope of the tangent line in the y direction is negative and therefore the partial of f with respect to y is negative. I hope you found this helpful.